What's up, Mena Nerds? This video is all about the CC-7700 Frigate, a ship that was used by the Rebel Alliance in a similar role to the Interdictor-class cruiser. It was manufactured by Corellian Engineering Corporation, the same people that made the Gazanti-class cruiser and the CR-90 Corvette. Its cost is unknown, but it was based on an earlier line of ships, the Detainer CC-2200, which was used to lock down ships leaving Kashyyyk in the months after the closing of the Clone Wars. And the CC-7700 is also known as the older sibling to the DP-20 Corellian gunship. There are no dimensions for this ship, but it seems similar to the DP-20, which was about 120 meters, or 394 feet long, making it about the same length as four YT-1300s, and about a third of that of the Arquidans class light cruiser. This would make it 28.8 meters, or 94 feet tall, about an AT-AT with a Rancor riding on top. And at a width of 49.4 meters, or 162 feet, it was about as wide as three Y-Wings, plus the Senate. The CC-7700 came equipped with shielding, and a hyperdrive, which was most likely a Class II, just like the DP-20, ISD, and most Imperial ships. Its armament included turbo lasers and point defense laser cannons, a great combo for a frigate, but what made this vessel unique was its gravity well projectors. Gravity wells create what is called an interdiction field, coming from a word that means to intercept or prevent, and that is exactly what it did, either intercepting ships passing through hyperspace, ripping them out and back into real space, while also preventing ships from being able to make that jump. This technology dates all the way back to the Old Republic, and didn't really make a big comeback until Palpatine's Imperial Era, but interestingly, it was also developed independently by the isolated people of the Hapes Cluster and the Yuzon Vong. As for its history, we actually start with the canon story in 14 BBY, when Governor Tarkin had his prized corvette the Carrion Spike, stolen by a rebel cell. He was set on preventing their escape, so Tarkin rapidly threw all the hyperspace escape denying ships that he had, including an Immobilizer 418, Detainer CC-2200, and the newer CC-7700s. The rebels in the stolen ship were just out of range, and were able to escape with the Carrion Spike, though they did lose a Lux 400 yacht that was violently destroyed. Now for the story in Legends, its direct predecessor, the Detainer CC-2200 Interdictor Cruiser, was stationed right over Kachiro, which was the site of the Battle of Kashyyyk, and with their interdiction field, they were able to prevent the escape of the Wookiees that were already being subjugated by the Empire. Some Jedi survivors of Order 66 were able to use a requisite class light destroyer to crash into the CC-2200s, breaking open a window for hundreds of traitor ships that were able to free a great number of refugees. Over the course of the Galactic Civil War, many of these were captured by the Rebel Alliance, and though they were nowhere near the range and effectiveness of the Empire's Interdictor-class Star Destroyer, it was useful in launching smaller pirate raids on Imperial outposts and cargo ships, where ion cannons could knock out the long-range communications, and the CC-7700s could prevent any pilots from getting away, and calling reinforcements. It wasn't heard from again until the Battle of Mindor in 5 ABY, which pitted the New Republic against the members of the Imperial Remnant, including a disturbing man named Kronal, and who was considered Palpatine's monster maker due to his mastery of Sith alchemy. Following the Black Fleet Crisis of 16 to 17 ABY, which was a dispute between the New Republic and the worlds of the expanding and xenophobic people of the Kornach Cluster, Imperial Remnant Admiral Dalla was nearly captured by the use of CC-7700s, but she plowed her ship into one and was able to make a blind jump to hyperspace. And the last time that we see this ship is in 44 ABY, a relatively lengthy service record that is just proof of the great build quality of these Corellian-made ships, as a CC-7700 named the Fireborn included in the Galactic Alliance Navy. So that's it for its history, and the only cool behind the scenes fact is that it was introduced in the game Star Wars Rebellion as a parallel to the Immobilizer 418 cruiser that was used by the Empire. And so that's it for the CC-7700 frigate, but most important of all, remember, every pilot fleet should incorporate at least one of these ships, and the Force will be with you, always.